All right, so uh, today I'm uh, going to try to, to give you a sketch of uh, proof uh, of this application. Uh, and the way I'm going to do this is by showing that uh, for, for n larger than one, uh, n strong implies, so n strongly invariant sheaves are n plus n strongly invariant. Right, so, um, and so to do this, I, I need to uh, first maybe try to uh, explain some of uh, some consequences of this condition that will be used in proving this application. And I, I want to start uh, by um, recalling uh, some basic fact from Avon homotopy theory, namely uh, Thomas spaces and purity. You might have seen this before. And, Maybe last week. I'm going a bit. I'm going to be uh, fast here. So, what what are Tom's spaces? So, um, so we have uh, X, which is uh, some smooth uh, variety over K, and we have uh, N, a vector bundle. On X. So um, we, we define uh, some space to be uh, some space of n. Basically, this is uh, the quotient of n by the complement of the zero section of n. All right. So this is uh, so here. I'm um, writing n for uh, for the sh for the sheaf for the discrete sheaf represented by n. Similarly. For minus zero, and this is the quotient in the category of sheaves, and then I, I'm really maybe uh, looking at the motivic localization of this object. Right, so this is the Thomas space of, of n. So what, what we need to know about this is the following fact, so, or maybe lemma, uh, is that so if, uh, if n is of rank B, then uh, this object is, uh, is deconnected, is A1 deconnected. Okay, so let me uh, quickly sketch uh, the proof. So uh, one reduces to the case, uh, the case N is free uh, using uh, some uh, Zariski excision. Uh, and so in, in the case n is free, so like this, ox to the power d, then um, uh, yeah, basically one, one, one sees easily that uh, the thumb space of n uh, can be written as okay, some motivic localization of uh, basically of a1x uh, over a1x minus zero, and you smash this n times with itself, or d times. Okay. And so, uh, and then one, one is left uh, um, to show that, uh, that, this, that this a1 x over a1 x minus zero is one connected. Basically, because con connectivity is kind of additive by, in, by under smash uh, product, uh, but this is uh, kind of clear because this is uh, so since a one uh, has been contracted, this is like a suspension of uh, of this guy, so it's which usually is written as G M, right? So it's a sus suspension of G M, and therefore it is uh, uh, one connected. Okay? Suspension of everything is. Okay, and so uh, another another fact that uh, we need is uh, the following. So maybe also a lemma. Um, so this is a, maybe yeah, it's maybe not a lemma. So uh, proposition. It's called purity. Um, in in the in the paper of uh, Morel and Vygotsky. Uh, 
Um, and so it's uh, the following fact. So if, if you have y inside x closed, uh, let's say, of co-dimension d, everything is smooth, um, then uh, if you look at x minus, uh, over x minus y, uh, then this is, uh, again, it's A1 homotopic, so it's a, there's an equivalence in, in H of k, so uh, between this guy and the Thomas space of the normal bundle uh, of y. And again, I'm not going to prove this, uh, but uh, so, th so the, I think the, the proof requires using a deformation to the normal cone, but at least in, in the case where I'm going to use this, in the case where x, where, where the, where the um, where you can define y by, by the vanishing of uh, a regular sequence, uh, you, can, you, can, you can do a, an easy proof. And, um, yeah, and so the, the idea is that uh, locally for the established topology, the pair x uh, comma y is uh, isomorphic to the pair n y comma zero, comma zero section. And so yeah, using this, it's not difficult to, uh, to obtain such a result. Um, OK, so I guess that's all I have. I need from pure T. Yeah. Um, yeah, well, let, let me also state this corollary here. So uh, putting these two things together, uh, we get that uh, under the, the previous, under the and the previous assumptions, the previous assumption, uh, we know that this uh, x over x minus y is a1b connective. Okay, so that's, that's what I'm going to use later. All right, so that's uh, 3.1, now 3.2. Some consequences of of strong invariance. Okay, so uh, I'm going to use the following lemma, which I mentioned yesterday. Um, just uh, um, um, that um, so if. So M will be always in this talk, and today's talk will be always uh, some kind of uh, uh, an Isnevich chief, uh, Isnevich chief uh, which is N strongly invariant. If N is chief. Uh, no, sorry, Isnevich uh, chief, okay. Uh, then the following are equivalent. So starting from, from this lemma, M will be strongly invariant, but for this lemma, I, I'm, I'm going to uh, to, to, to restate this condition of being strongly invariant. So uh, M is N strongly invariant. Uh, it's if and only if uh, the other Ramachlin space, K and N, is motivic. Okay, so, and so this, this lemma will give us some access uh, to, to this kind of result, and I'm going to just give you one or two consequences um, of, uh, of what I just said here. So, and maybe b before this, I need to introduce a notation. Find, uh, uh, yes? Lemma, yes, yes. So from now on, yeah, M, M will be always an Abelian. And it's never chief of Abelian groups. Some notation. So 
So let's, let's assume that uh, we have some X uh, scheme, nice scheme, or Euclidean, or smooth if you want. Z inside X, a closed subscheme, and uh, F, some sheaf, Gisnevich, sheaf of abelian groups on, let's say, on the etal side of X. Um, all right, so then uh, I'll write uh, gamma in uh, index Z of X, F. So this is by definition uh, the fiber of the map, uh, so uh, gamma um, X, F. So, so this gamma X, F is like the, uh, I, mean I, should, I should put an R maybe, but, but this is like the derived global section functor. Uh, Right, so this is a complex which compute the cohomology of x with value in f and uh, x minus c. Okay, but this is what's called somehow sometimes uh, cohomology with support in z and uh, h i z x uh, f. This is this is just a cohomology of this complex. Okay, so just some notations. Here's a remark. So if, if you are in the situation uh, that we are interested in, namely the, if we, if, um, we have uh, uh, F, so if F is defined, is uh, defined over all smooth varieties, uh, so it's a sheaf on smooth varieties, um, then, um, uh, then these groups, uh, Right, so which, by this I mean I, I, I first restrict f to the etal side, and, or the small Nisnevich side, and then I, I do what I did there. This is uh, uh, also can be defined as uh, as, as the following uh, by the following symbol, uh, and maybe I, I'll say in a, in a second what this means. But um, okay, right. So uh, and by by this I mean this is. Uh, some some set of morphisms in uh, the, in the derived or yeah, in the homotopy category of uh, Nisnevich uh, sheaves uh, between this guy here and the Oliver Maclean space associated to F. Okay, so I, um, yeah, I think this is uh, uh, yeah. So maybe I, it's, it's an, easy, an easy exercise that, that uh, yeah, one, one can prove this using. I mean, just going back to the, to the definitions. Okay. Any question about this? So if not, I can now state uh, yeah. uh, the following uh, fact or lemma or uh, yeah. So now assume that M is um, N strongly invariant. Uh, and let X be Variety, Z inside X, uh, a closed, closed of codimension D. Okay. And so the conclusion is that uh, so we have a vanishing in local cohomology. Uh, but yeah, but I mean, X could, could also be essentially smooth, and uh, will be, uh, probably be the case with this. So let's do it. Um, yeah, so, the, so we have a vanishing in, uh, in local cohomology. And that's, uh, that will hold for, uh, for I between, so, um, so ideally it would be uh, until D minus one. But for the proof, so this is what, what you would expect. Um, but uh, to, to do the proof, we, we um, so you, you, yeah, the proof will not work for, for indices bigger than n, so that I will have to take the minimum between these two numbers. Right? So up to d minus 1 and up to n, one has this vanishing. 
OK? And so the, the proof is uh, simple. So it's a consequence of what I just said. So um, this, these groups are, uh, uh, can be written as x over x minus z, out of a Machian space in the nist uh, local category. Right? Now, uh, if, if i is smaller than n, then I know that this guy here is motivic. So I can simply write this as, or just simply uh, change the index there. Oh, okay, motivic A1, I don't know, A1. Okay? So uh, if, 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 if I want to be uh, uh, correct, I mean, if, if I want to be how to say, uh, precise, I would put here L, L mod. Uh, and I take the motive as to this guy. But uh, it's, it's quite standard to, to, to just write it like this. OK? And now we are, I think, basically done. Uh, OK, so I, sh I should have started with a reduction here. So reduction uh, to the case uh, z smooth, which is an easy reduction. You, you just somehow filter. Um, you know, you, you, you look at the singular locus of, of z, and then you, you first prove this, uh, the vanishing, uh, yeah, anyway, so, so it's, yeah, there's an easy, easy reduction here that you, you, you can do um, to reduce to the case Z smooth, and then in the case Z smooth, we are done because this is, uh, this is D, uh, D, D minus one connected or D connected, uh, and here I is smaller than D minus one, and this is truncated. So it's I truncated. And there is no map between something which is D connective and, and, and to something which is I truncated uh, if we have this condition. Okay? That's basically the idea. All right. So that's what, that would be important. Uh, that's an important vanishing for the proof. So, uh, and I, I want to state a special case which is really the, maybe the, the, the most important one. Uh, so special case with a special with a, with a special notation, uh, which is the following. Now, if we uh, again the same same assumption, uh, uh, x smooth essentially smooth, and then uh, I take a now I take a point of x of co dimension d. And so then the claim is that the uh, hi x n is zero for, for the same. For okay. yeah? What is the assumption for the hi? Uh, perfect. Yes. Who, who asked this question? I, did, I didn't see. Oh, yeah. you. So it's perfect, yeah, from now on it's perfect, yes. And the reason why it's, uh, I need this is because of, I mean, because the, yeah, the, 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 one of these lemma that I didn't prove uh, need, uh, required that. And as, I think basically this is the only place where, where it's needed. All right, so, um, okay. Let's see if I should say something more. That's it. Yeah. So, um, and so maybe the, just also a remark. So, in particular, uh, we, we can apply this in the case where d is equal to n plus one. So this applies and that's somehow will be an important case uh, for the proof. So the case d equal n plus one. Um, uh, so we can apply this for the uh, one, and then in this case, so I can. So we have a vanishing. Up to uh, up to degree n, um, and so that the first non-zero uh, local cohomology group. Oh, I didn't define. I, I wanted to define this. So this is uh, yeah. This is basically uh, local cohomology of of the localization. You can take Hanselian or 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 Zariski localization. Okay. 
right, so this applies uh, in this range. Um, and so the, the, the first non-zero uh, local cohomology group will be the, the, the Hn plus one. Uh, and uh, somehow, um, a uh, lot of effort is somehow is spent to, to, to compute this group. Uh, and, yeah. And so what, what we are going to do now is to compute this kind of homology group, but, but in, in lower degrees. And that, that somehow that, again, uses uh, basically um, just a definition of Next, uh, next item will be uh, contractions. So what are, what are contractions? So this is maybe also we have seen this before. Um, so this is the following uh, operation. I guess the, the name is maybe due to Wojewski. Um, so you have F, uh, a sheaf or a pre-sheaf uh, on the spins. Of group on some varieties, and then you you define a new a new sheaf uh, called F minus one, and that's defined as uh, the kernel of uh, of F um, so yeah of F a one minus zero times blank. Right, so you it's like a, a internal home construction uh, to to F, and this is given by the by the unit. Section. Okay, it makes sense. I right, thought so maybe I should write it like this. So if, if, you, if you evaluate this at u, you are uh, well, it's given in Texas. Okay, this is uh, this is called the contraction. F minus one is called. Okay, so here's one fact about about this. So, so if m is n strongly invariant, then so is m minus one. The contraction preserves this property, uh, and moreover, uh, we have the following. So, uh, Alba MacLean space of uh, of m in degree n, and you, you take uh, gm loop space of of it. This is given by k m minus one. Okay, and so I don't know if I should say something about the proof. So let let me let me say something. So. So the proof is, uh, can can be done as follows. So, uh, so to, to show that that uh, n minus one uh, is um, strongly invariant, one can do it like 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 this. So one one notice that uh, if you so so we look at this space, right? So we look at this uh, object. This is a motivic space uh, because basically this thing is a, is motivic and taking internal home uh, or taking loop. GM loops preserve uh, the property of being motivic. So this is a motivic space. It's not, I mean, we don't know. I mean, yeah, if, if you knew this equality, then we, we, we would be done, right? But okay, but what is easy to see is that uh, if you uh, tr uh, truncate, maybe, yeah. If you, if you, if you take the, the ends uh, connected cover of this guy, uh, that's, a, that's an easy exercise. You would see that this is equal to. Okay, 
right? This is somehow it's it's an entruncated object. It's an entruncated object, so, so this 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 will be an Allerman Machian space, and it's easy to compute the homotopy groups. Uh, okay, so that's uh, uh, and somehow to, to get this equality, you one is left to show that uh, so left to show that the pi i one of k n and g n or zero for i smaller than n and uh, that uses this uh, uh, thing this property I proved uh, yesterday using Gabber's lemma that um, to show that such a thing it's enough to do it over a function p right so that's basically by Gabber's lemma so enough to prove this is vanishing on function piece. And then you are left uh, uh, with the problem of computing the cohomology of uh, a function field. So this is not a good idea. I put it L. Uh, with value in uh, GN, in, in, in OSTA. No, uh, with value in, sorry, <laughs> in L. Uh, in M, sorry, uh, you, so I, I remember that there should be one GM somewhere, so it's, it's here. So you want to compute this and uh, showing, so you want basically show that this, this is zero for star bigger than one, and that's somehow, yeah, easy to do. Uh, maybe I leave it as an exercise. It, it, one has to use that, that M is, 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 is A1 invariant, uh, at least one strongly invariant. Uh, and so, yeah, the, the trick is that, so it's somehow it's only st uh, star equal one, which is interesting, and for star equal one, you have a surjection from H1, A1, with values in M, and that's, that's, that proves the, the thing. Okay, if you want me to say more, uh, please ask me. Yeah, so from one onward. So star equal zero, you get M, M minus one of L. And for star equal one, you should get zero, and star equal two, that, Huh? So for star equal equal two and, 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 and higher, it's clear because of using you know because this is, has dimension one. The only interesting case is really star equal one, and for that you you use that uh, this group is as a quotient of the H one A one uh, L with value in M, and that's zero because M is strongly one invariant. Okay, so here we are using somehow the uh, at least that N is equal to one. All right, so that's. Uh, one more thing, and so, and uh, yeah, and so again, it's uh, uh, what I want to say. Corollary, they also are propositions. Yeah. So now, now, now that we know this uh, contraction, let let uh, we can state the following proposition. So, and I will do it maybe for just for the, the point for the moment. So let so let x be in x. E in smooth essentially uh, smooth essential K. Um, and let's assume that X has um, uh, and, and, and X of codimension D. Smaller than N. Right? So uh, so the, the then the H N uh, local cohomology smaller than N and again it's is strongly an invariant. Um, so remember, this is the first. Uh, no, I want D. Sorry, this is the first uh, non, non a priori non-zero uh, local cohomology group, and it's given by the N, the D's construction. So you you have, you have to contract D time, and that's mean that you, you repeat this constr this contraction D times, uh, and then you evaluate at the point. Okay. And so we, yeah, so we know this for, for D less than N, and it's still on the, on the blackboard, right? So here, I said that, that the, 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 somehow the first difficult case is the case where D equal to N plus one. Um, we would like also to have the same, same, the same thing here. Right, we, we don't know this, but we know it uh, for somehow for 
for all the Ds up to N. Okay? Is this clear? So should I? Mm, okay, let's see. Do, do, can I? I'd like to take some places somewhere. Maybe, maybe I can erase this. Right. So, okay. You, 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 it, you So the the the, okay, the point is that uh, so you you have so let, let's let's say we have a curve C. And uh, a smooth, and uh, I have a curve. I have U inside C. I have the complement. Let's say it's just a complement being one point. And so uh, let's call this J. So uh, we have we have a sheaf uh, uh, F on C. Um, uh, okay, it maps to J lower star. Uh, let's say to R J lower star of F. And now the, the, the first thing you, you you need to notice here is that actually the J lower star is is non-derived. And that because uh, this is a special property of the Nisevich uh, uh, topology. Uh, so to compute this, you you, you evaluate at uh, at DVRs, right? Yeah. But DVR but the, the uh, but the DVRs ma, 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 DVR minus the closed point. But this is a field, and the, and the field has no cohomology. So so you get this. Okay. Now, okay. You have to take care of of of, of section supported. On the point, but 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 this is easy, and then you have something like this. Okay, and then you are done. Okay. So. Oh. Yeah, that's that's it. That's the point. I made. Okay, so um, um, right. So let's see. I guess that's all. Also for contraction. I, I still need maybe to prove this this proposition. Uh, let me sketch a proof of this. So how do you get this? So proof, just to see wh where, where, where we are using this, this assumption. But, but this is again, um, we are using this to, uh, um, okay, so that's that thing. So I can write it. Again, this is some abuse of notation, but Fine, Kellerberg, uh, Adam, train space, and D, and the Nistevich topology. But since D is smaller than N, this is uh, happening also in the A1 uh, in the motivic homotopy category. And then uh, we've seen that this is basically like a Tom space uh, of the normal bundle. But then this is X, X is a point, so this is like some uh, Tom space of. Uh, of ADX over X, but this is also like a suspension uh, uh, smash D, uh, smash X, LX plus. And somehow this suspension gets rid of this D here, and this uh, smash D gives you the contraction, and, and you get the formula. Okay, so the, the, the key point is that you can, you can write A1 here. And for that, you need to have D smaller than N. Okay. Sorry, um, it's my phone. Right? <coughs> All right. So, um, yeah. So I think I guess the next topic should be the Conivo. Uh, sequence. 
probably spectral sequence. So again, let me uh, first do this in a uh, general situation. So we, we take x to be some variance scheme. Um, again, we have some f. Uh, it's a small etat side <coughs> of x. And so then th there is a spectral sequence that looks as follows. So I guess it's, I think it's, uh, yeah, page one. Um, it's, um, uh, so the, 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 the first page, so maybe first I, I say where, where, where it goes. So it converges to the cohomology so yes, this is what, what you want to compute. You want to compute the cohomology of uh, x with value in f. And so uh, this is a spectral sequence that does this. And uh, so the EPQ term is given by, you look at point of x of co-dimension p. And you take the local cohomology in degree p plus q. Okay, so it's uh, such a spectral sequence. And yeah, it's called the Conibo spectral sequence. Uh, I, I, maybe I sketch uh, a construction. So the, the, the construction is given as follow. So you look at the complex which computes, uh, which computes the cohomology of X. And uh, you filter it as follows. So you, you take a filtration, uh, define Fp to be um, some kind of colimit, maybe colimit C inside X of codimension greater than P uh, of the, uh, the local uh, or the commodity supported in, in Z. And so this is like a subcomplex here. And yeah, you have a filtration. And the associated spectral sequence somehow looks like this. This is, again, it's not a difficult fact. It's just because uh, the difference between these two things somehow are controlled by, by point of, of, of some given codimension. And then, yeah. Um, okay. All right. Uh, let me make a remark here so about the spectral sequence. So. Uh, so the, the, the EPQ term uh, is zero for Q larger than one. So if Q is larger than one, it's zero. And that's, uh, so why that? So this is because uh, we are looking at local cohomology. But local cohomology, um, by, so uh, by construction, so okay, this is, a lot, I can replace X by, by its localization. Uh, by construction, it sits an exact sequence like this. And I guess this is, uh, yeah, it should be H. Okay, so, um, but now, um, uh, this this guy has has dimension d, uh, dimension sorry dimension p, because x is uh, x is of course dimension p, so the local ring the local scheme has dimension p. Uh, if I remove the closed points from this local scheme, this gets to dimension p minus one. And so in in, in all cases I'm higher, so I'm looking at cohomology in degree higher than the dimension, and so so these two guys are zero, and therefore the, the middle term is also zero. Okay, so some, yeah. And so the, um, the case Q equals zero is, is, is uh, an interest, um, will be very interesting for us. So, uh, so uh, the, the line Q equals zero um, is called the cousin complex.
n uh, of f. And it looks like, like so, so it's denoted by denoted c star c star xf. And it looks like as, as follows. So, so, the, 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 um, uh, so here uh, q is zero. So the, yeah. So the c, c so the cp uh, xf is direct sum over closed point of dimension p of local cohomology in degree p. Okay, so any, any question about this before I move on? Okay, so, um, and so I, I'm, I'm going to, to look, uh, so the first thing is to look, so let's see how much time is now. So the, uh, yeah, the first part of the proof somehow is to analyze this, um, uh, this cousin complex in the following situation. So we will take x to be a local, essentially smooth of dimension dimension n plus one. So x will be the closed point. So this one somehow will be uh, like. One basic situation we will we will look at, and so uh, f will be uh, our n, which is n strongly invariant. And so we, we can say something already in, in this situation. So something interesting. So let's notice that in this situation, we basically know all the terms of the spectral sequence. All, almost all, all but one term of the conical spectral sequence. Um, so uh, remember that the, the term of the spectral sequence are local cohomology uh, of points in X with coefficient in m. So except the closed point, all the points have uh, co-dimensions smaller than n, and we can apply to them uh, one of the result I, which is not anymore on the blackboard, uh, which, which uh, uh, right, so if y is, is not the closed point, then, uh, then the local cohomology, so it's zero except is different from the co-dimension of, of y, and it will be m minus d of y uh, if d is the co-dimension of y. Okay, so uh, yeah, so the, 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 the yeah, but basically the, the EPQ term for p different from n plus one has only one. Uh, and so, okay, so the conclusion is the following. So conclusion, EPQ1 is zero unless Q is zero. So we are, the only possibly non-zero terms really are, 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 are on the Cousin complex, okay? And, and the Cousin complex, uh, all the terms are, are known except the, the last one, right? So moreover, on the Cousin complex. Uh, C, uh, CPX n is known, and by this I mean I can write a nice formula for it, uh, except, except the last one, which is Cn plus one, which is given by just uh, the local cohomology This thing that we know we don't know yet, okay. And uh, as a consequence of this conclusion and the fact that 
the spectral sequence compute the cohomology of X. Uh, we did use that the, that the cousin complex actually compute the cohomology of X. Also state this. So, uh, moreover, the cohomology of this local x of dimension n plus one, whose value in n, is the cohomology of the cousin complex. So we have we have a nice complex which computes this cohomology. Okay. Any question? Okay, so now we come to uh, uh, the actual proof. 3.5, n strong implies n plus one strong. Okay, so maybe, I don't know, should I do a small recap, so recap. So we, it's good to, to keep in mind two things. Um, yeah, which are, I mean, I ju just said them actually, but uh, let me follow my notes. So, uh, the recap uh, so uh, I will take M to be N strongly invariant. So there, there are two uh, things to keep in mind. Uh, First, that we know what is the local cohomology of, uh, of, uh, of x value in n uh, when, um, so for any x which is essentially smooth, and uh, x uh, in x of co-dimension less than n. So these groups are known, and uh, more precisely, they are zero. So they are uh, unless i is the codimension of the point, and if i is the codimension of the point, then they are given. So wh when where they are given by the value of, of a contraction okay this is the first point that we need and second point uh, is the following is that in this particular case when x is uh, local smooth or essentially smooth of dimension n plus 1 the cousin complex, the cousin complex computes the cohomology okay All right, so I'm going to start from here um, yeah, and I think the first result is um, exactly. Yeah, that's, that's an important point. Very good. So, and if X is this is a sensilian, then this cohomology of zero. So, and then we see we we deduce from this that the cousin complex is, is exact. 
And that will be uh, uh, I mean, that's a, a very good starting point somehow because then we at least we know that the, so remember we, we, uh, our mystery object is the last term in, the, in, this, in this complex, right? And so that, then we know that this, this last term is actually a quotient of uh, what's happening before. And, uh, uh, and yeah, so that, that will be the starting point somehow too. Okay, so uh, let me notice the following. So uh, now if, if we have some y inside x, and, and I think this is general, I guess that's, yeah, this is a general fact. So uh, not necessarily, uh, x is not necessarily like this, but maybe just essentially smooth. So this is um, a closed immersion of essentially smooth varieties of codimensions of codimension uh, D. Okay, so then, uh, then we have a natural, then there is some, I guess D should be smaller than N. Then we have a natural uh, morphism of complexes. So we can go from the Cousin complex of Y, M minus D, and I guess I, there should be some shift, which is probably like this, to the Cousin complex of N. Okay, so this is a fact. And I just say orally why this is the case. Uh, so basically to, to get this, maybe I should write something. So to, 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 to get this morphism, what you do is you, uh, you, so you, let's call I the inclusion of Y inside X. So you, you have, you can, you have this I upper shake operation. And you have a morphism from I upper shake M to M. And, um, and basically, because of purity, uh, you know what is the, the first, uh, so you can compute, so okay. So this is, uh, this is, uh, so, so this is, this is somehow in the, in the derived category of, uh, derived category of this neighbor chief, on the right side of X. Um, so we know that this guy uh, somehow starts in cohomological degree uh, D. Right? There's nothing in, uh, in lower degrees. Um, and so there is, uh, you, can, you can take its first non-zero non object and map it to it. And then by, by purity, we, we, one, one can compute, I mean, basically by the same argument I did before, using the fact that D is smaller than N, uh, this is basically N minus D. Here maybe one needs to trivialize uh, the normal one. Okay, so we, we get a morphism uh, of sheaves from m minus c to m, and then we, we just use the functoriality of the, of the Conevo spectral sequence, and that's basically will give us this morphism of Cousin complexes. And so in particular, now in the case where, uh, where uh, D is, uh, where X is uh, local of dimension n plus one, um, I can, okay, I can take Y, uh, uh, so, so if, if, if D is, now, now let's back to, uh, to, to x local of dimension n plus one. Let's, let's now take any y inside x, smooth, and assume that the, that the, that the codimension, codimension d, which is uh, not zero, so I want something which is strictly contained in, in x, uh, but uh, not uh, n plus one either, so I don't want a point, so something like this. So it's, it's a, it's either a curve, I mean, yeah, something between us, a hypersurface and a curve. So let, let's fix something like this. Uh, then by this general fact, we, uh, we see that we, we, get, uh, we get an induced morphism uh, from the H, uh, m minus n minus one of x to the local homology. The mystery, the, the, the thing that you want to compute, basically. So let, let me say orally how you get this. You look at this morphism there, and then you, you just look at the last term of this morphism of complexes. So the last term uh, here is going to be the uh, local homology of the, of the close point in degree n plus one. And here also it will be the local cohomology 
of the closed point, which is the same one here, um, but it's a local cohomology of y with value in n minus d. And by induction, we know that, so since, since d is not equal uh, to, to n plus one, uh, sorry, or, or not equal to zero, uh, we know that, that the last term of this complex is what we want. It's just, m, uh, it's, it's just a contraction of, of this guy. So it's the contraction of, f, f, of uh, m minus d contracted by I think something like minus n minus one plus d. Okay? Is this clear? So we get a morphism like this. And now the, the, the key uh, fact is the following. So proposition is that this morphism is independent, or at least the image of this morphism is independent of, of the choice of y. And uh, yeah, so I'm not going to give the proof of this. Uh, it's a little bit, uh, it's a quite difficult actually to prove this, and at least if, uh, if one tried to follow, if one tried to follow uh, the method of, of Fabien. Uh, um, all right, so yeah, I mean, one has to, to, to work a bit here. Uh, I don't know, if, if you want me to, to say something, I could try to say something, but yeah, how, much how, how much time? What is the tame symbol? Well, I mean, you mean the, the Yeah, but that's that's the property of the cousin complex. So th this is used actually in the, in the, in the proof. So I mean, I, I could I could tell the strategy. So the strategy is as follows. So maybe I, I, draw, I, draw, I draw a picture. So okay, we have. Let, let's let's assume that that uh, n is equal to one. But in fact, this is somehow the main case. So then we have a surface and we have two curves, and okay, so it's a local scheme. So we have two curves like this, and. Um, so basically, yeah, what, we, what you want to show is that, so here we have the generic point of this curve, the generic point of this curve, the generic point of that curve. And so you want to show that the residue map in the cousin complex from here to here has the same image as the residue map from here to here, okay? Um, that's what you want to show. Sorry? Okay, yeah. Okay. <laughs> so then, um, uh, yeah, so basically what you do is as follows. So, uh, Okay, so, so, so we are going to show that there is an inclusion, actually. So, the, yeah. so it's enough to show that there is one inclusion in, in, in each other because it somehow is kind of symmetric. And, uh, and uh, to obtain this inclusion, uh, uh, yeah. so you, 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 you reduce to the case where, uh, where you have a, an affine line over a curve. That's basically it's... Yeah, you, you can do this. It's, 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 I mean, it's, we are really working locally here, so it's really not, not an issue. So we may assume that, that X is actually some, okay. Now, this is not anymore a, a local scheme, but it doesn't matter. So uh, something like, like this, A1, C. So now the picture is as follows. So you have C, you have A1 over C. Uh, you have the generic point here, and we have two generic points mapping to this, okay? Uh, and you can assume, I mean, we can arrange that, that these morphisms are etat to, to the curve. Um, yeah, and then what you do, you look at, this, at the uh, gen generic point here, and uh, so uh, at, the, at, the inverse, at, the, at the inverse image of the plus point, and then you take a generic point of that guy. So now you have three points, and what we are going to show, and so yeah, it's enough to show that this is in, that the image of the, of the residue map here is, is inside the image of the residue map here. That will be enough, basically. And for that, you, you do what you said, I guess, or if I, if I understand correctly. So you, you look at, you take an element here, I don't know, alpha. Uh, here, the, the, the fiber is an affine space over, over the generic point. So we know that the Gaussian complex is kind of, or the Gaussian complex is going to be exact. So we can lift this to some beta, which lives over the generic point of over here, uh, and which, which has residue zero except at alpha, so residues zero, 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 except at alpha. And then we look at the residue here. And then because, because we have a complex, the, the residue here is some element which maps to the residue here. Okay, something like this. 
Okay, so we, we one man managed to prove that this is independent of the source of, 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 of Y, and that implies basically that uh, uh, that's corollary. So we can now, using this, we can show that H n plus one uh, X, X n is what we want. And so now this is uh, the strategy that uh, Mark uh, uh, mentioned. Uh, so we, 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 we can do this in the case uh, uh, X is, is Hansenian. In this case, we know that the Cousin complex is exact because it, it, it has to compute the cohomology of this Hansenian ring or scheme. Um, and therefore, this means that the image of the last differential is surjective. So what is the last differential? So we have some points. We have uh, n minus n y. So we have some maps like, like this. Um, okay. Now we know this is subjective. But on the other hand, we just uh, basically proved that, that all these maps, that for every choice of y, at least y smooth, the maps have the same images. And so that is, so, yeah, one has to do something for, for the, no, the non-smooth point, but it's not a problem. And so, uh, yeah, at the end you get that actually, uh, for any choice of a y smooth, th this map is already subjective. Uh, but you can show that it's also injective, and then you are done. Okay, that's how you, how you prove uh, this. Okay, so we, we yeah. We now know all the terms of the, of the Cousin complex in the case of a local scheme of dimension n plus one. And to go further, so the conclusion, the conclusion is, is, is here. That, oh, okay. that's, that's, that was the proof of the corollary, sorry. Right. Proof, and the proof is finished. Um, yeah. And yeah, oh, here is also an interesting corollary. So corollary. Um, now, if yeah, so remember, uh, okay. In, in this proof, I, I, I assume that x was Hansenian, but but uh, but a priori x is just local. So let me remind you, no, x, is, x is local dimension plus one. Uh, the corollary is that the cohomology of, uh, of x whose value in n is zero, except yeah, for, for star because it's so. Uh, and the proof is now as follows. So, so basically, I'm going to use some induction here. Uh, but I, or, or I'm just going to, to discuss the case n equal and uh, star equal n plus one. So for for star equal n plus one, uh, you use basically uh, uh, this fact here, um, because then uh, if you take if you take a smooth point or if a point which corresponds to a smooth curve um, in X, uh, uh, you can show that, that the residue. So uh, so even if X was not Hansenian, the residue is still surjective. And so the last, the last uh, differential of the complex is still subjective even if x was not uh, Hansenian because of this corollary. And so the, the other degrees will, will be dealt with, with by, by induction. Okay? Somehow. Okay, so. Okay, now I can, uh, yeah. Now, now, so now, now we are done with the case uh, dimension n plus one, so let's go to higher dimension. So what can we do with this? with this knowledge. So the next thing to, uh, one can prove now is, um, is something in degree, in, in, in cohomological degree uh, smaller than n, but for higher dimensional uh, varieties. Or schemes.
Okay, so proposition. Um, so again, M is N strongly invariant. Oh, really? Oh, okay. I mean, I could continue tomorrow. I was, this was not my plan, but I could continue the proof tomorrow. Yeah, if it's better like this. Okay, so let's, let's sorry. I thought 